hi everyone Pradeep here from Pradeep Push Tech TGT and welcome to another video yesterday Apple released iOS 14.5 developer and public beta 8 along with that Apple also released iPad OS 14.5 beta 8 Mac OS Big Sur 11.3 beta 8 but no new watch OS 7.4 beta or TV OS beta is available till the time of shooting this video the latest build number is 18E5199A. This beta came in around 130 megabits on my iPhone 12 mini. It was around 130 MB on iPhone XR and 93 MB on this iPhone SE first generation. Depending on the device, that should vary. Before the update, the available free space was 28.46 GB out of 64 GB and after the update, the free space is now 28.46 GB, so a little bit of storage space gain. There is no modem update in this beta, so network connectivity wise, there should not be any change. This is the fourth beta with A at the end, which is really surprising. We only see this many betas when we get an entire new OS that means iOS 13 or iOS 14 but not for a 0.1 increment but as I have already said earlier 14.5 is going to be the biggest release by Apple after the iOS 14 update they are going to change and implement a lot of things in this beta one of these is going to be the app tracking transparency rules last week Apple already informed the app developers to comply with that so enhanced security and tracking transparency is coming up with iOS 14.5. Apart from that, the biggest announcement was the Apple event on the 20th April. The special event is on 10.30 p.m. Indian Standard Time or 10 a.m. Pacific Time. Now, if you go to the apple.com, then the event page, you can see it there. There is a nice little animation if you click on that. So do mark your calendar. We will be having a detailed discussion about the event, so stay tuned and subscribe to TGT for that. On that event, we are expecting some hardware releases such as a mini LED iPad Pro, a new Apple TV, AirTags, etc. We can also see some new colors for the iPhone 12 Max F cases as well. There is no new visible features or anything resolved issues mentioned in the release note and that is a good thing. It means that Apple has almost perfected most of the things already with the iOS 14.5 and the WWDC coming up in June where Apple will demonstrate iOS 15. I think we are very much done with iOS 14 features so don't expect any new major feature update for iOS 14. The only thing we should see yet to be implemented properly is app clips but it depends on the developers. As I already mentioned on the previous beta, I am not facing any Bluetooth drop issues, cellular signal switching issues, green tint issues or Apple logo flashing issues on this device. If you are facing those, this beta might resolve it for you. And I am also getting very good battery life with iOS 14.5 betas. Apart from this device, I am also testing it on the iPhone XR and it's working smoothly without any problem. I have used it extensively for the last two years. The battery health is 88% but it's still nice and handy. I am also using it on this iPhone SE first generation. Surprisingly, this little device is also running smoothly. Remember, this is one of the oldest devices being supported by iOS 14. The battery life is average, I would say, but the performance is very good. Apple also released iPad OS 14.5 Beta 8 and I am running it on the iPad 6 Gen. I have to admit, this is running really smooth. The device is quite a bit old, but still there is no sign of lagging. The battery life and the standby time is also very good. Now, if you are interested about the benchmark score, here is the Geekbench 5 score for iPhone 12 mini. It is 1583 for the single core and 3960 for the multi-core, which is just a bit low from the last beta, but such fluctuations keep happening. And here are the scores for all the devices that I mentioned here, iPad 6 gen, iPhone SE 1st gen, iPhone 10 R and iPhone 12 mini. So this is my experience with iOS 14.5 beta 8 so far. I would like to know your experience as well. 
So do write it down in the comment section below and do hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to TGT and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.